It's the Daily Dog. Hey y'all, welcome back to the Daily Dog. Thanks for being with me today for what is going to be a special edition of our Masterpiece Friday. We had planned to do some music by Queen today, but we are pushing that back to next week because uh, something sad happened this week. Uh, Christine McVie passed away and uh, I am a big fan of, of her music and uh, of Fleetwood Mac, and I wanted to uh, take a little bit of time to pay tribute and respect uh, and remember uh, Christine McVie, and I am happy that you are here. We're going to be listening to her song, Songbird, today, uh, and uh, I can't wait to do that with you all. Uh, so Fleetwood Mac fans around the world are mourning the death of, of our songbird, uh, Christine McVie, who died on Wednesday, just a couple of days ago of this week, uh, November 30th, after a short illness. She was born in, in 1943 uh, in England to a musical family. Her dad uh, was a concert violinist, and her grandfather was an organist at Westminster Abbey. And so she started playing at an early age. She, she uh, went on to become a member of several bands during the 1960s. And she started playing with Fleetwood Mac in 1968 as a, a session musician and then formally joined the band in 1970. Um, she, uh, you know, once she was with Fleetwood Mac, uh, her songwriting skills, her piano playing skills, and her singing. Uh, prowess all came to the forefront. She wrote and sung uh, on several of the band's best known and cherished songs, including uh, Don't Stop and Hold Me and Love in Store and Everywhere and Little Lies and Over My Head and Say You Love Me and You Make Love and Fun. And of course, this beautiful ballad that we're going to listen to, uh, Songbird. Uh, she appeared on 14 of Fleetwood Mac's albums. Uh, she also had a successful solo career, releasing four solo albums, and uh, her song, Got a Hold On Me, went to number one on the US rock charts. Uh, as a member of Fleetwood Mac, she is a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. She has also won two Grammy Awards, and she received a Lifetime Achievement Award from the British Academy of Songwriters. So, you know, as I was getting ready to to do this episode, I was trying to figure out which one or a few of her several tunes that I was going to listen to. But I just want to bask for a few minutes in her sublime song, uh, Songbird, which is included on my favorite Fleetwood Mac album, which is called Rumors. And you can see it. It's right here. I have it on vinyl. And it's just, you know, the side one of Rumors, the whole album is great, but side one is one of my favorite sidelong listens of all time. It's just a wonderful album. And uh, Rumors uh, features four songs that were solely written by Christine. Uh, besides Songbird, uh, Don't Stop is on this album. You Make Love and Fun and Oh Daddy is on that album. Uh, the song itself was written uh, in just in, in under an hour uh, one night and after sharing it with uh, the band's producer the next day, plans were made to have Christine record this live in a concert style setting. This is something that I didn't know about this song until I looked this up today. Um, so they did that on March 3rd of 1976. The song was recorded at uh, Zellerbach Auditorium on the campus of the University of California at Berkeley. And what they did was set up 15 microphones all around the auditorium, some very close to the nine foot Steinway that she played and some uh, quite far away, just catching the ambiance of, of the room. And uh, Lindsey uh, Buckingham's simple acoustic guitar accompaniment uh, was strummed from off stage while uh, Christine performed. And the session lasted into uh, the next morning as they sought to record the tune in a single live take. And that's what's on the album. And so that's the version I'm going with. I know there are several versions of this where we can see uh, Christine singing in a live context, but there's something about the magic of this original recording that just 
slays me every time that I hear it. So let's take a few minutes and uh, and listen to uh, Songbird from Fleetwood Mac, uh, written by Christine uh, McVie and performed uh, on the piano uh, and sung by Christine. Off we go. such a short song but it's so good and it's <clears throat> it just hits me in the feels every single time y'all every single time uh, I never got to see uh, Fleetwood Mac uh, perform live uh, but uh, I read that uh, the band would often perform this uh, as the last song of their sets. And I can't think of a better way to, to, you know, conclude, uh, a session of, of live music than something like that. And the fact that she recorded it, uh, like late in the evening, it was written in the middle of the night. It kind of, uh, I read that she said it kind of came to her like a gift from the angels. And, uh, and she kind of like, you know, didn't want to forget it. So she like wrote it down and, and made sure that she, you know, like this has to, you know, this has to exist and it has to live. And, uh, and the rest is history. Uh, the brilliance of this particular tune, uh, lyrically, I think is the universality of it. Uh, it feels like her story, especially when she, you know, as she sings it, uh, 
uh, but it also, it feels like my story. It feels like our story as individuals, I think because it relates to all of us. Uh, the self-sacrifice of the song's protagonist, I think, is universal. And the line, I wish you all, in the all the love in the world, but most of all, I wish it from myself. It shows this maturity um, and understanding and sacrifice, self-sacrifice for the sake of true love. And it just um, reminds me of how special love is every time I hear it. And it just, and I think that's what makes it a timeless tune. As long as love exists, <laughs> there will be uh, those that we truly love that are no longer in, um, in our lives, whether that's from a breakup or a death or uh, anything in between, you know, and we somehow bring ourselves to wish them all the love in the world. You know, knowing that our connection can't ever be what it was. And and so, uh, to Christine, who is no longer here, your fans around the world wish you, you know, you know peace with all the love in the world. And we know that uh, the songbirds will keep singing um, because love endures. And, and I think this song will endure and Christine's music uh, will endure and it's it's uh, it's a sad time. I know in our community uh, on the you know here in the Daily Doug, um, as soon as the 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 news of of her death hit on Wednesday, um, we were playing her songs <laughs> and and remembering her and uh, paying tribute. And that's what I wanted to do today. So uh, for the Queen fans out there, uh, I will get to Queen next week, but I, I really felt led to uh, just to take a few moments out of this day. Uh, it's not a long uh, video. Normally our Friday, Masterpiece Friday videos are longer videos, but I mean, come on, you don't need to have a long video to know that that's a masterpiece, what we just heard. And it, uh, it's, uh, I've played along to it uh, for years, and so I know it very well. And uh, it was cathartic for me to, um, to get to uh, experience the song and to share it with all of you. So thank you for, for your support, and, uh, and thank you for, for hanging out with me today as we pay tribute to uh, Christine McVie, uh, the, uh, the, the vaunted musician. Uh, who for, for many, many years uh, was a part of Fleetwood Mac. So uh, rest in peace, uh, Christine, uh, from all your fans. And thanks, y'all, for being with me today. We will see you next time on another edition of The Daily Doug.